Methane gas, a byproduct of many industries, is the second largest contributor to greenhouse gases after CO2. But a startup in California called New Light has come up with innovative technology that captures methane and turns it into, among other things, plastic. Plastic that would otherwise be made from oil. Well, the, the way the basic technology works is we take methane, we combine it with air, and we have a biocatalyst that brings those two things together and turns it into a plastic molecule. And then we can take that plastic molecule and use it to replace uh, plastics that would otherwise be made from fossil fuels. Sounds simple, but scientists have been working on this for years. Mark and his team's breakthrough was developing a catalyst that produced a yield that made the economics work. What happens is inside this tank, we put in our air feed, and our methane feed, and this bubbles through the tank. And what happens inside the tank is our biocatalyst, one arm goes and captures the air and one arm captures the methane and combines them together into a polymer. The end result, a product its makers have named air carbon, a substance that closely resembles polypropylene. It could also prove to be cheaper than fossil fuel plastics and may become the go-to material to make products like garden furniture food containers and automotive parts. I remember when I was holding our first reactor and it was this big. Um, I remember when I was laying on the factory floor with you know, a gash in my head and blood coming down the side of my, you know, I remember all those moments, but, but I remember those all when I'm standing on top of a 50-foot reactor and looking down and I'm watching it work and having spent 10 years of your life to do that and then to see it go is one of the most beautiful moments of my life. Currently, New Light has two factories that take methane emissions from local industries to make air carbon. But the company's aspirations are global, and for once, plastic could become part of the solution to global warming, not the problem.